Servers infected with mining malware, new DDoS tactic discovered, and cyber criminals affect three WordPress plugins. This is Hacker Daily for Wednesday, October 4th, 2017, and I'm your host, Marley Oxenholm. It appears that hundreds of Windows servers have been infected with Monero mining malware. Hackers managed to exploit a vulnerability in Microsoft 6.0 that allowed them to create a botnet and mine over $63,000 worth of Monero. The actors behind the campaign modified a legitimate open source Monero mining software and installed it on unpatched servers. The malware distribution was performed via brute force scans for the CVE 2017-7269 vulnerability from two IP addresses that point to servers in the Amazon Web Services cloud. And although the total number of victims isn't known yet, security company ESET estimates that hundreds of servers were compromised based on the total hash rate produced by the attacker. In other news, researchers have discovered a new DDoS tactic that is gaining popularity. The new tactic is known as the pulse wave attack due to the traffic pattern it generates by creating a rapid succession of attack bursts that split a botnet's attack output, essentially enabling an offender to pin down multiple targets with alternating high volume bursts. Cybersecurity company Imperva stated, We realize it makes no sense to assume that the botnet shuts down during those brief quiet times. Instead, the gaps are simply a sign of offenders switching targets on the fly and leveraging a high degree of control over their resources. Clearly, the people operating these botnets have figured out the rule of thumb for DDoS attacks. According to the company's data, pulse wave attacks were carried out on multiple occasions throughout the corridor. And lastly, according to WordFence, cybercriminals have officially exploited zero days in the wild that affected three WordPress plugins. The security alert originally pushed a warning against these plugins, however, they have now been fixed by their developers. The security firm added that it detected the zero day as part of its regular site cleaning service. They then investigated the hack sites and were able to uncover the exploit after looking at past evidence. All three plugins have now been patched up to fix the PHP object injection vulnerability. However, website owners who are using any of these three plugins are strongly advised to upgrade to the latest versions since, as stated by the researchers, the attacker can completely take over the vulnerable site. Well, that's all I have for you guys today, and thank you for tuning in for your current InfoSec highlights at Hacker Daily. This episode was brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on HackerArsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. And use our promo code HackerDaily to receive 10% off on all Hacker Arsenal gear. Once again, that promo code is HackerDaily. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.